ओम शांति डेट इज फोर्थ फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड बाप दादा मॉर्निंग मुरली मधुबन रिवाइज डेट इज थर्टी फर्स्ट जनवरी बाप दादाज एलिवेटेड वर्जन इन ऑर्डर टू पास विथ ऑनर्स चेक योर अकाउंट of all the treasures you have accumulated so uh, by saying that we have to check our account the treasures that baba has given us how much we have accumulated then only we will be able to pass with honors today bab dada is pleased to see the fortune of all the young and old children of this land and abroad throughout the whole cycle no one apart from brahmin souls has this fortune even the deities consider brahmin life to be elevated because from the brahmin life it starts to ascend and then from the golden age where the deities come and rule it starts to descend so that is why even deities consider brahmin life to be elevated each of you should examine your life from its beginning and see how elevated your future has been from the moment you took birth we all can see the difference right and feel the elevated stage from the time that we have become bks till now there is a lot of difference as soon as a child takes birth he receives the fortune of being sustained by his mother and father then he receives the fortune of being taught by a teacher after that he receives directions or blessings from a guru who gives you children sustenance teachings blessings and shrimat you receive all three from the supreme soul look at the sustenance look how only a handful out of many receive god sustenance no one except you receives teachings from god the teacher only you receive shrimat and blessings from the satguru so father teacher and satguru so we receive teachings from the teacher shrimat and blessings from the satguru so baba plays all the three parts so you know sorry so do you know your fortune very clearly do you continually swing while keeping your fortune in your awareness do you sing the song how wonderful my fortune is at the time of amrit vela when you wake up you wake up absorbed in love for god love for god awakens you your day starts with love for god if you didn't have this love you wouldn't be able to wake up love rings the bell of your clock the bell of love awakens you throughout the entire day god's company enables you to carry out every task so in the morning when we wake up at amrit vela we fill ourselves up uh, with god's love and throughout the entire day that love of god that is his company enables us to carry out every task that we perform your fortune is so great that the father himself leaves his supreme adobe in order to come here and give you teaching so we are so fortunate that the god himself comes and gives us his teaching did you ever hear that god lives sorry god leaves his home every day in order to teach you no matter how far away souls come from no place is 
further away than the supreme adobe. So it is the father who comes for from the farthest of all. Is there any land further away? Is America or Africa as far away? The supreme adobe is the highest land. God, the highest on high, comes from the highest on high land to teach the highest on high children. Do you experience your fortune to be such? In the form of the Satguru, he gives you Srimad and also his company in every task. He doesn't just give his directions. He also gives you his companionship and we all children do feel that companionship. What song do you children sing? Are you with me or far away from me? You are with me. Are you not? If you are, if you listen to anyone, it is the supreme teacher. When you eat, you eat with Bab Dada. When you eat on your own, that's your mistake. The father says, eat with me. You children also have also promised, I will live with you. I will eat and drink with you. I will sleep with you. And I will return home with you. You mustn't go to sleep on your own. When you sleep on your own, the dreams you have are bad or have bad thoughts in them. However, because the father has so much love for you, he tells you to sleep constantly with him. Do not sleep alone. When you awaken, you awaken with the father. When you go to sleep, you go to sleep with him. When you eat, you eat with him. And when you go for a walk, you also walk with him. So any task we perform or we do, we always have to keep Baba as our companion. When you go to your office or business, you are just a trustee of that business. And the father is the master so that we won't feel the burden in doing any task. When you go to work, you know that your director, your boss is Bab Dada. You are just an instrument and doing everything under his directions. When you are sad, sometimes the father becomes your friend and tries to cheer you up. He also becomes your friend. So it is not just the relation of father Baba also becomes our friend. When you shed tears of love, the father comes to wipe away your tears. He places your tears like pearls in the jewel box of his heart. So much love Baba has for us children. When you sometimes become mischievous and sulk and you do not sulk in a sweet way, the father comes to make it up with you. He says, it doesn't matter child, now move on. He has so much love for us children that even if we sulk in a not sweeter way, still Baba comes and tells us, it's okay, it doesn't matter, you can now move forward. Whatever happened has become the past now. Forget it. Let the past be the past. He tries to make it up with you in this way. So, with whom do you spend your whole day? With Bab Dada. Sometimes, Bab Dada is amused by the children when they say, Baba, I forget you. On the one hand, you say that you are combined. So, can you ever forget the one with whom you are combined? When you are with someone, how can you forget the one who is with you? So, Baba says, well done children. You children have so much strength that you separate yourself from the one 
who is combined with you. You are combined and yet a little Maya separates those who are combined. When Bhaktada sees the games that the children play, he says, remain constantly aware of your fortune. What happens is that you think, yes, my fortune is very elevated, but you just become an embodiment of those thoughts. You do not become an embodiment of that awareness. You think very well, I am this, I am this, I am this. You also relate it all to others very well, but you now have to become an embodiment of what you think and say. So we just we just have to become the embodiment of what we think and say. It should look in our practical life. It should not just be limited to the thoughts that are created. You fail to become an embodiment of that. Become an embodiment in every aspect. Experience the form of whatever you think. The greatest form is to become an embodiment of your experience. When you are in the supreme adobe, in your eternal form, you are not an embodiment of thoughts, but an embodiment of awareness. You don't even have to think. I am a soul. I am a soul. You are that form. So we have to become the embodiment of awareness, not the embodiment of thoughts. So Baba is giving an example that when we are in Paramdham, that is the supreme ado, we are in our eternal form. We don't uh, limit ourselves or we just don't become embodiment of thoughts that I am a soul and this is my home. But we become the embodiment of awareness that I am a soul. You don't have to work on that thoughts anymore because you are in that awareness already. You are that form. In the beginning, you become an embodiment of the effort you make at this time. You don't have to think I am a deity, I am a deity. You are that form. Therefore, since you are an embodiment in your eternal form and your original form now become an embodiment at this time also. By your becoming an embodiment of that, your virtues and powers automatically emerge because we are in that awareness. So the virtues and powers would automatically emerge. When someone of any occupation is set on his seat, the abilities and duties of that occupation automatically emerge. So if someone is a doctor, then his duties and the abilities to perform his occupation, that is to serve the patient, that automatically emerges. So similarly, Baba is saying that we have to be seated on our seat, that is on the highest stage. So if you do remain constantly set on the seat of your form, then every virtue, power, and type of intoxication will automatically emerge. You will not have to work hard for this. This is known as the natural Brahmin nature, finishing other types of nature of many birds. So that will become our natural nature, that is of Brahmin. The natural nature of Brahmin life is to become an embodiment of virtues and an embodiment of all powers. All the other types of old nature are not the nature of Brahmin life. You say, my nature is like this, but who is saying my nature? Is it a Brahmin or a warrior or 
Is it the soul that has become an embodiment of awareness of his previous birth? Who is says, who is saying this? The nature of Brahmins is the nature of Father Brahma. So when you say my nature is like this, consider whether you can have your own nature in Brahmin life. You have to understand that. If you are still trying to finish your past nature, that is the nature of 63 births. If the nature of your past still emerges, then you should understand that you are not a Brahmin at that time, but a warrior because we are battling to finish the past. So are you sometimes Brahmins? and at other times warriors, Baba is asking, what do you call yourselves? Warrior Kumars or Brahma Kumars? Who are you? Are you warrior Kumars? You are Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. You do not have any other name. Do you call anyone by saying, hey warrior Kumar, come here? Do you ever say this? Or do you tell yourself, I am not a Brahma Kumar. I am a warrior Kumar. To be a Brahmin means to have the same nature as Father Brahma's nature. Never say those words. Never say them even by mistake. Do not even think, what can I do? My nature is like this. No, this is making an excuse. Even to say this, is just making an excuse to free yourself. You have taken a new birth. And so how can your old nature emerge in your new life? It means that you are not completely dead. That is dead from the old nature. You are still a little bit alive and only a bit of you has died. A Brahmin life means that every step of Father Brahma is what are the steps of Brahmins. So we have the practical example in front of us that is Father Brahma. What Father Brahma had done to remove his old son's scars and how he uh, made his natural nature as a Brahmin. So we have to follow those steps. Babdada is looking at your fortune for it is such elevated fortune. Therefore, those words do not seem right in front of this fortune. What kind of words that my nature is like this, I am like this. So that do not seem right. You are celebrating this year as the year of liberation. Are you not? So we have to be liberated from our old natures and, and anything of the past. What classes do you give? It is the year of liberation, the year of freedom. It is now the year of liberation or is that to come in 1999? The year 1998 is the year of liberation. Those of you who think that this is the year of liberation, raise your hands. Look, it is very easy to raise your hands when you are sitting in this gathering and swaying in happiness. What happens is that you just raise your hands. Now raise your hands and make this promise from your hearts. So Baba is making us make a promise from our heart, not just by raising our hands. No matter what it costs, you won't break your promise for the year of liberation. So Baba is saying that no matter what it costs, which means that no matter what kind of obstacles comes in your way, but you should not break your promise that this year is celebrated as the year of liberation. So you have to be liberated from any kinds of since scars or anything from the past comes your way. Have you made such a firm promise? Be careful when you 
raise your hands whether it is recorded on this TV or not. Babdada is having taken your photograph. Therefore, become liberated from such weak words. Let your words be as sweet as the father's. Let your words to every soul be filled with good wishes. This is known as words filled with significance. Do not speak ordinary words whilst walking and moving around. Anyone who suddenly comes to you should wonder whether these are words or words. Why? Because we are becoming the highest on the high and we are the children of the sweetest of the sweetest God. So our actions and words should be such that even when someone comes in front of us, they should be thinking that are these words or are these pearls? Words filled with good wishes are like diamonds and pearls. Bhaktada has indicated many times that very little time now remains for you to accumulate all the treasures. If you don't accumulate at this time all the treasures of time, thoughts, words, the wealth of knowledge, the powers of yoga and the treasures of all virtues of a life of divinity, you won't easily find another time to accumulate all of these treasures. So all these treasures we need to accumulate as fast as we can or as soon as we can because then Baba told that there is very little time left to accumulate all these treasures throughout the entire day. Check your account of each treasure just as you check your account of your physical money to see how much you are in credit. So also check each account of your treasures to see how many treasures you have accumulated. You need to have all the treasures. If you wish to pass with honors, your account of accumulation of every treasure should be so full that you will be able to experience the fruit of that accumulated account of treasure for 21 births. The too late bell of time has not yet rung, but it will ring. You will not be told the day or date in advance. Suddenly it will be announced too late. What will you do then? Will you be able to accumulate at that time? No matter how much you wish to, you will not have the time. So Baba is cautioning us that the too late board has not yet announced. But if it will be announced, then what will you do? Will you be able to accumulate at that time? No, that is not possible. So that is why Baba is telling us to make this as our natural nature. So we don't have to work hard to make it our natural nature. This is why Bab Dada gives you this signal many times. Accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. The title of each of you at this time is one with all powers. It is not just one with some powers. In the future, you will also be full of all virtues, not just full of some virtues. We are becoming, we are going to become deities. So we will be full of all virtues, not just some virtues. So you have to accumulate all of these treasures now. You have to accumulate all the virtues and the powers now. Each and every treasure is connected with a virtue or power. Just as you don't speak ordinary words, but have the virtue of speaking sweet words, so each and every treasure has this 
connection because Bab Dada loves you children. He gives you this signal again and again. In today's gathering, there are all varieties. There are small children and also teachers because it is the teacher who have surrendered. There are Kumaris and householders as well. They are all varieties. Acha. So in this melon, all the children came. So those uh, they were all varieties like small children and also teachers and householders too. It is good that everyone has been given a chance. This is very good. Children made a request a long time ago, didn't you? You asked, when will we get the chance to meet Baba? So it is good. A bouquet of all varieties is in front of the father. Bab Dada has one pure desire of the teachers of the entire world and the file of complaints should now finish. Sorry, that the file of complaints should now finish. Bab Dada too has many files. So this year, let your file of complaints finish. You should all become fine. Even more than fine, you should become refined. You like this, do you not? No matter what others are like, learn how to conduct yourself with them. So this is for teachers and also for us children that the file of complaints that the complaint that we go and tell Baba that should be completed. Baba is saying that we have to refine ourselves and learn how to conduct ourselves with others. No matter what others are doing, even if they are repeatedly creating obstacles for you, for how much longer are you going to spend your time over those obstacles? There has to be a completion ceremony for those two. So no matter whatever a thing is, it, it will come to an end. So there is a completion time for that. So Baba is say, saying that no matter what the other person does, how much ever obstacles he creates, but how much time are we going to spend over those obstacles? So do not look at others to see what each one is doing. What do I have to do? If that one is a mountain, I have to step away from him. The mountain is not going to move away, which means that if they are very rigid and if they have very rigid sanskars, then they are like a mountain. So we have to step away from them. Do not think I will change if that one changes only when the mountain moves, can I move forward? Neither will the mountain move, nor you will be able to reach your destination. Therefore, if you have pure feelings for that soul, then just give a signal and thereby empty your mind and intellect. So if we have something in our intellect for the other soul, not in a pure way, then Baba is saying that have pure feelings for that soul so that the signals will, sorry, have pure feelings for that soul and just give a pure signal so that will empty our mind and intellect. Do not engage yourself in thinking about those who are embodiments of obstacles. It is their part. What we have to do, we have to just give them pure feelings. Since everything is number wise, each one stage will also definitely be number wise. However, you have to become number one. Transform yourself and have good wishes for those who become obstacles and those souls who have waste thoughts. It takes a little time and a little effort, but ultimately garlands of victory will be placed around the necks of those who bring about self-transformation. 
if you are able to bring about transformation in those souls with your good wishes, then do so. So in the end, garlands of victory will be placed on those souls who bring self-transformation. Otherwise, just give a signal, put an end to your responsibility and bring about transformation in yourself and continue to fly ahead. This obstacle is also a golden thread of attachment which doesn't allow you to fly. It is a very subtle thread behind the curtain of truth. You then think, this is true, isn't it? This happens all the time. This should not happen. However, for how much longer are you going to keep watching all of those things and stopping? Now, liberate yourself from those subtle threads and celebrate the year of liberation. This is why Bab Dada is celebrating the different functions with you and fil sorry, fulfilling your hopes, desires, zeal and enthusiasm. The last function of this year will be a function for the year of liberation. At functions, dadis are given gifts. So in the function of the year of liberation, give Bab Dada the gift of your perfection. Acha to all the special souls wherever who have a right to the fortune of God's sustenance, teachings and Srimad, to the souls who are equal to the Father and who make themselves embodiments of their thoughts to the instrument server souls who easily attain success in the service they do and for themselves through God's willpower to those who constantly experience the Father in their combined form to the companion children who constantly fulfill the relationship of companionship, Bab Dada's love, remembrance and namaste. Beautiful blessing that Baba has given to each and every child. Blessing. Sorry. Mithe mithe sikhilate bacho prati mat pita bab dada ka yad pyar aur good morning ruhani bab ki ruhani bachcho ko namaste hum ruhani bachcho ki ruhani mat pita bab dada ko yad pyar good morning aur namaste shukriya baba blessing may you be a jewel of contentment and with your speciality of contentment in your relationships and connections becomes threaded in the rosary. The confluence age is the age of contentment. Those who are content with themselves and who remain constantly content in their relationships and connections and make others content become threaded in the rosary because the rosary is created through relationships. If one bead is not connected to the next bead, a rosary cannot be created. Therefore, be a jewel of contentment. Remain constantly content and make everyone content. The meaning of being in a family is to remain content and to make everyone content. Let there not be any type of conflict. So we have to be in contentment in any relationships and connections that we are in. Slogan, it is the duty of obstacles to come and it is your duty to be a destroyer of obstacles. Acha Om Shanti